What are you cooking today, Max? Right, today I've got a great summer recipe for you. So we can do this inside the kitchen or you can crank the barbecue up and we can do it outside on the barbecue over coals. It's great. It's all about pork chops. So you've got these beautiful pork chops here. I'm going to caramelise them on the grill, get a nice flavour into them, serve them nice and juicy. I'm going to show you how to do that a bit later. And then this beautiful textured summer salad of all these vegetables. And this on the barbecue is fantastic fennel. Gets a great flavour, got lots of herbs going on. It's really simple, really easy, perfect summer dish. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you've got a great easy recipe for us to kick off the week. Yum! That's it, right? It's all about pork. So we've got these beautiful pork chops here. It's got the line of the uh, pork, so that's really nice, tender, juicy. Key thing here, don't overcook it. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you that a little bit later. Okay, and uh, I tend to overcook my pork, so I'm looking forward to that lesson. Well, yeah, that's it. You do, you know, you do want to cook it through or just under, let it rest, and it's nice and juicy. Nice. Right, we're just going to uh, marinate this, so we're going to get some flavour into that. So nice. Just pop it into a bowl. I guess so the marinade we're making from scratch, are we? Well, it's, it's, it's just about getting some flavours in there. So uh, we've got some rosemary. Yep. So we're just going to pick the uh, sprigs off. Oh, while I remember, thank you to my neighbour who grows rosemary, because I just ripped down the road and grab a few. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Does he know? No, he doesn't know. He will now. <laughs> <laughs> That's Crack, it. A little bit of bay leaf. We've got some thyme in there as well. Some uh, rosemary, uh, bay leaf, thyme. Uh, yeah. And some uh, garlic Garlic. cloves. Right, you can just pound that, release all the flavours. That's it, gonna put a little bit of uh, salt and pepper in. It smells incredible. So you're just bruising the herbs and that's gonna release the flavours. You're right. So we don't have to grind it into a paste. Just no, no, get not those into a paste. Just... Fragrances out. Yeah, exactly. And then we're going to put some uh, bit of olive oil in there as well. Okay. Give cool. it another mix around. So essentially, you sort of you're flavouring the oil now. And this is our marinade for the pork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you can okay, just cool. throw this it over the pork. Good. That, that's yeah. all good. That's all you need to do. Okay, so that's it. So yeah, um, chuck that in there. Okay. And there's a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar in there as well. And does that helps it stick, or does it add flavour as well? No, I'm just going to give it a little bit of sort of sharpness, cut through the richness of the pork okay, and all that cool. fat. Just going to use my fingers, get in there. It's cooking. That's what we do. That's it. So get, you know, get a get a nice stir around. Make sure all the pork's coated, and then mm -hmm. just let that marinate. You know, you can do it for about an hour or so. You can do it longer if you've got the time. You know, there's quite a lot of flavour, so you know, an hour is pretty good actually. Okay, fantastic. Right, and let's talk vegetables now. So I've got some yeah. nice vegetables. So fennel. So fennel's a great vegetable, real aniseed. Yeah, well, I'm never, it's one of those. It's one of those vegetables I walk past at the supermarket, and I'm a bit scared to pick it up. <laughs> So like, how do I work it? <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's really good. So the, you know, the key thing about fennel is um, if you shave it really thin, you can eat it raw, and it's really nice. It's crunchy. It's great in salads. You know, so it's going to work fantastic in this dish. We're going to uh, toast it, caramelise yep. it, so you get a really good flavour. It's going to soften slightly, but we still want a crunch there. Nice. Well, this is why people appreciate you taking us through these steps, because, you know, now you know what to do with your feel. That smells so yeah. aniseedy, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's brilliant. And it's, it's really good. And the, and, the, and the good thing about fennel, it's two for one. Right. right, so you can use this, you can put yep. it in salads, you can roast it, do whatever you want. And then this, this is just like dill. So these are the fennel, fennel prongs. So nice. if you just try that, you know, you've got a wicked flavour in there. You know, treat it the same as dill. Mm. Wow, yeah, that's a burst of flavour, isn't it? Yeah. That is so good. So that's it, so I'm just going to cut it into wedges. And okay. then you've got this little hard core here. So I'm just going to take a little bit out, just sort of the excess. But I'm leaving a little bit in. Just so when we barbecue it, it just holds together, just like the root of an onion. Okay, good tip. Thank okay, you. right, so they can go in there. Right, we've got some peppers as well. So I'm just gonna cut some nice chunks in there. Nice. Off. You know, just leave everything nice and chunky because you're gonna okay. cook it. You know, it's gonna be a nice textured salad. Do some yellow pepper as well. Just make sure you take all the seeds out. And then we've got some courgette. You can put a little bit of uh, seasoning onto this. Okay, cool. And some olive oil as well. Olive oil too. Yeah, salt and pepper, olive oil. Toss it all around, and then that's ready to go on the grill. So Fantastic. we're going to get these on. Right, and you can do this in the barbecue too, you say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is it's obviously designed for the barbecue, this recipe. Right. But, you know, if you want to do it in ho at home, use one of these uh, griddle pans. These are really good. Cool. Okay, so we're going to start getting that on there. Fantastic. And lay it across. Really nice hot pan. You want to hear that sizzle, and we want to look for that colour. Okay, so we want those nice charred marks there. And there we go. Good chunky bits, a very hearty meal. And to be honest, we are underway, and that has taken no time at all. Fantastic. <laughs> right, so we're going to save the save the tops for later. Yeah, I've got some spring onions as well. So I'm going to just trim the tops off. Keep the green part. We're going to uh, shred up. We're going to put that through the salad so you get a nice crunch, and then just the. Uh, white parts as well, they're going to go through 
and they're going to go in the pan as well and get them nice and charred so they just test. soften. Good, and we're not going to waste these as well, we're going to use them no, too. exactly. Okay, brilliant. Well, tell you what, we'll come back very soon, we'll see how the rest of this shapes up. Now though, we've got a recipe to finish off here, Mark, and just to recap, we've been marinating our pork chops, uh, we've got the vegetables going, we're using a bit of fennel, and uh, we're just basically, we're doing this in the kitchen, but you can do it on the barbecue grill as well, can't yeah, you? you've been listening. Mm -hmm. Awesome, right, so the, the pork's been marinating. And you just want to keep these turning? Yeah, yeah. So get a bit of colour on them, yeah. some grill marks. Just going to pop the uh, pork on now. Oh, so yum. Really important now, very, very hot grill. Yep. Put it on. Try not to like mess around with it and you know move it and everything. We want to leave it in one place and just really get those marks. Okay, cool. Okay, so just keep having a look at the vegetables. You know, leave them on a little bit, start to get a bit of colour and then turn them. So that's good. Get yeah, no a bit more. It's still quite hard. Okay. So, we, so we'll get corner on all the sides. So there's three sides on here. Just it's into a wedge. Them. Yeah. Yeah. The spring onion's gonna cook probably the fastest and the courgette. Okay. And do you so take once... it out as it when yeah. it's ready? Okay, cool. So once it's ready, we'll pop it in there. Fantastic. You know the peppers, the courgette, the spring onion, they're all gonna be fine just on the pan or on the barbecue. Um, the fennel, you know, if you don't want it that crunchy, you want to cook it a little bit more, just pop it in a hot oven for about five minutes. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and that marinade smells incredible with that pork, doesn't it? Yeah, and then you've got all these herbs as well, so they're going to toast as well, release all the flavours. So it's a really fresh, summery dish as well. OK, cool. Well, yeah. I'll keep an eye on these things for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to double-check every now and again. Okay. Yeah, so once it, you know, once we're, you get a nice sort of uh, marking on there, that's all flavour. And if you just sort of feel it, you can see it sort of softening up there. And that's what we're after. We don't want it too soft. It's all about texture in here. Okay, great. Right, well, let's have a look at our pork chop. Okay, let's... So you can see, getting some nice caramelisation there. And don't be scared, you know, if you get some colour like that, you can turn it over, get some more colour on the other side, and you can always turn it back as well. Oh, so you can double turn them. Okay. So, so then we... that's about right. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. And then when we turn it, we can just sort of do it 45 degrees and then we'll start getting some marks on there. Oh, the crisscross. You know, if you do this on a barbecue and you've got those real sort of thin rods, yeah. really hot ones, you will get all the bar marks on there. OK, great. Everything's cooking along nicely here. Just a reminder, we put all the recipes at thecafe.co.nz, so make sure you go and check that out if you need to revisit last week's recipes or you want to try this one tonight at home. And if you do try something from us here in the kitchen, why don't you give us some feedback at Facebook? OK. <laughs> this is smoking up a storm here, though, isn't it? Good, okay, so, so everything... Cooking. everything is... We're cooking with passion! <laughs> It's probably best to do this recipe outside on the barbecue. That's all right. <laughs> so we've got uh, so we've got the fennel tops there. I've just chopped a little bit more fresh thyme. That works really well in the salad. And then I've got some feta as well. That's going to give us a bit of richness through the uh, roasted vegetables. Mm, yeah. You know that sort of charred, almost burnt flavour with the creaminess of the feta. Just brilliant. I really simple, feta. but just a great combination. Nice so work. just going to dice that up. I'm going to put that in there, and once the vegetables are all cooked, go in the bowl, a little bit more salt and pepper, and then some fresh lemon juice. Okay, cool. I'm going to put that courgette in there, because I think that's done. I think our spring onion's probably done. Yeah, that's it. it. You can pop that in there pop as well. And get all the herbs in there. All right, let's have a look at this pork again. Yum! There you go. So you're starting to get these nice marks. Once you've got colour on both sides, time to get in there with your finger, give it a prod, have a look at it. So if you prod the centre of the pork, you can see it's springing back. You know, there's still... <laughs> Got it's not fry. fully, fully <laughs> spring. <laughs> oh, you know, cool. That's good. So it's, it's nearly there. It wants to be sort of firm, springy. You take it out, rest it a couple of minutes. If it's really podgy in the centre, it's still raw. OK? okay. <laughs> so it's not far. Another minute or so. Take it out, rest it for a couple of minutes, and then we're ready to go. OK, everything's coming along nicely here. We are just about done. So what is the finished product going to look like? We will find out very soon. No time to eat, Mark. <laughs> right, the salad's done, so I've just tossed it. A little bit more olive oil, um, some parsley in there, arranged it on the plate, served the chop on top, or if you want to take it off the bone, run your knife next to the bone, all the way down, and then mm. out the bottom. Yum. And then you can just slice it over. Oh, that looks amazing. Right, nice and juicy. Pop that on top. 
And there you go. Woohoo! Oh, it looks absolutely delicious. There you go. So, nice so, what are you making tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got a classic Italian dish, carbonara with garlic bread. Oh, 